Dear viewers, greetings. In this video, we are going to see about carbohydrates fermentation test. Aim. The aim of the carbohydrate fermentation test is to test the ability of the microorganisms to utilize and digest several carbohydrate sugars. A principle, uh, carbohydrates are biological molecules which are made up of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen molecules. There are three types of carbohydrates based on their structure and number of carbon atoms present. They are monosaccharides, disaccharides and polysaccharides. Uh, monosaccharides are the simple sugars containing 3 to 7 carbon atoms and disaccharides uh, comprising of two monosaccharides linked together by the glycosidic bond and polysaccharides containing 8 or more monosaccharide molecules. Carbohydrate fermentation is the process by which the microorganisms utilize the carbohydrate sugars to produce energy in the form of ATP, uh, which is the ultimate energy source of the organisms. The purpose of the carbohydrate fermentation test is to check whether the bacteria can uh, ferment a specific carbohydrate or not. The carbohydrate fermentation patterns are useful in differentiating among uh, among the bacterial groups or species, uh, particularly from the Enterobacteriaceae uh, family. And the fermentation of carbohydrates by bacteria under the anaerobic condition is carried out in a fermentation tube, uh, which comprises of Durham's tube for the detection of the gas production. A fermentation medium, carbohydrate broth, is composed of a, a specific carbohydrates like glucose, sucrose, or cellulose along with the uh, pH indicators like uh, phenol red, bromocalzol purple, bromothymol blue or antred indicators. Uh, when the bacteria ferment carbohydrates, various organic acids and other products like uh, lactic acid, formic acid, acetic acid, butyric acid, butyl alcohol, acetone, ethyl alcohol, CO2 and hydrogen are produced. As a result of carbohydrate fermentation, uh, various organic acids were produced. And the production of the acids lowers the pH to acidic pH, that is the below 6.8 of the uh, test carbohydrate broth, uh, which is detected by the color change from red to orange or yellow because of the pH indicator. A Durham's tube are inserted upside down in the test tube to detect the gas production. Uh, if the test organism produces gas, the gas displaces the media present inside the tube and gets trapped producing a visible air bubble. A color change into yellow only occurs when a sufficient amount of acid is produced as, uh, as bacteria may utilize the peptone producing alkaline byproducts. Uh, based on the characteristic, characteristic reactions observed, uh, bacteria can be classified as uh, fermenter with acid production only, fermenter with acid and gas production and non-fermenters. The materials required for the carbohydrate fermentation test are sterile test tubes, carbohydrate broth with phenol rate indicator, inoculation loop and incubator. The composition of the carbohydrate broth are uh, peptone, sodium chloride, beef extract, uh, phenol rate indicator and carbohydrate source. Next procedure, uh, prepare the carbohydrate broth by mixing all the ingredients and dissolve it. And then uh, fill the test tubes with 6 to 8 ml of carbohydrate broth and insert a Durham tube in an inverted portion to detect the gas production. After that, autoclave the prepared test media at 150, 121 degrees Celsius for uh, 15 minutes to sterilize. Uh, do not overheat the carbohydrate fermentation broth. The overheating will result in breaking down of the molecules, particularly the pH indicator, and form compounds with a char characteristic color and flavor and this process is known as the accumulation of sugar or browning of the sugar. After autoclaving and the prepared broth media will be a light red color and final pH should be 7.4 plus or minus 0.2. After that transfer the carbohydrate broth into screw cap tubes or fermentation tubes and label and aseptically inoculate each test tube with the test bacteria culture using an inoculation loop and incubate the tubes at 37 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. A longer incubation period may be required to confirm a negative result and after incubation examine the tubes for acid and gas production. 
Finally, observation and result and the tube A shows the acid production. Acid production changes the medium into yellow color and organisms ferment the given carbohydrates and produce organic acids thereby reducing the pH of the medium into acidic. The second tube AG shows acid and gas production. Uh, the acid and gas production changes the medium into yellow color and organisms ferment the given carbohydrates and produce organic acids and gas. The gas production can be detected by the presence of uh, small bubbles uh, in, the, in the inverted Durham's tube. And the control tube shows the absence of fermentation. And here the broth retains the red color. The organism cannot utilize the carbohydrates, but the organisms continues to uh, grow in the medium using other, other energy sources in the medium. And dear viewers, that's all about the carbohydrate fermentation test. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you.